Hello my beautiful hammerheads and welcome back to another video. Today Warhammer community just released a pretty interesting article. Let me show it to you. Will you become predator or prey in the latest Warhammer Age of Sigma Battle Scroll update? So Warhammer Age of Sigma Battle Scroll. Grab your hammers, axes and bows and muster your forces for battle. The latest seasonal rules update for Warhammer Age of Sigma is here. One of my favorite standoffs in Broken Realms Tactless? Yes, Broken Realms Tactless, in which Nagash awesomely summoned six purple sons of Shaiish at once and blasted Tactless out of the sky. <laughs> For those in need of a refresher, battle, battle scrolls gather rules changes, points changes and other tweaks into a simple easy to read format, giving you the information you need to balance a close fought matched play game of Warhammer Age of Sigma. The latest, is, uh, the latest battle scroll is titled The Hunt and it takes a satisfyingly different approach to balance. So here you can download the battle scroll, we will look at it in a moment. Matt Rose from the Warhammer Studio has some insight into this unique balance update. It's an exciting time for Warhammer Age of Sigma rules development, with a bunch of battle tomes on the way, bringing new rules and point values specifically designed for the latest edition of the game. Balancing the game is a task that requires constant attention. For this second battle scroll, the team are trying something different, providing a standalone mechanism for us to address balance without invalidating the content of the battle tomes you have collected, clashing with points contained in upcoming books, or restricting the use of an army that you may have spent a lot of time collecting and painting. Very important point. To that end, the Predators and Prey rule in the General Sandbook 2021 is being expanded. This rule provides players with another way of earning victory points by targeting the biggest threats in the mortal realms. Players who choose to pack their roster with dominant units like the Dracothian Guard will surrender precious victory points for each unit lost. On the other hand, players running factions that aren't performing as well can earn more victory points by taking down units at the top of the competitive meta. These bonus points make it possible for many armies to score some big wins in matchups where they might previously have struggled. You don't need to change your army roster in response to this update, but it might make some lesser used units and factions rather more appealing. The list of priority targets and prime hunters have been built based on both feedback from tournament players as well as analysis of data from hundreds of events, explains Matt, probably from the Honest Wargamer. So we will read this in a moment because it's on the battle scroll. There has been a particular focus on the win rate per war scroll, that is, the percentage of time a faction wins when a certain war scroll is included in the roster. This update will go live on the Warhammer Age of Sigma app in the coming days. You'll also see the changes from previous Battle Scroll update remain valid and have been added to the app and the FAQ documents. We're aware that this change will be more effective at addressing certain types of issues than others. Matt explains, keep in mind, this is just one part of a bigger picture. We'll continue to release updated War Scrolls and Allegiance abilities in Battle Tomes and other supplements, and keep rebalancing point values in the General's handbooks. It is important to keep in mind that our regular Battle Scroll updates are focused on game balance and matched play, with a particular focus on organized play and events. If you're new to the game or tend to play more casually, it's totally up to you and your opponent whether to include this system in your games of Warhammer Age of Sigma. The studio is keen to hear what you think about these changes and everything else concerning the Warhammer Age of Sigma rules. Then blah blah blah, send email. We read every email sent in, Matt assures us. And while we don't reply right away, we'd rather collect feedback and publish any changes publicly so everyone has the same information. We factor your feedback and recommendations into our ongoing work. So, okay, here we have the battle scroll. 
The Hunt from, of course, this month, March 2022. The battle scroll, uh, the battle scroll includes priority targets and prime hunters. Priority targets are some of the toughest adversaries in the mortal realms and players score victory points for taking them down. Prime hunters are armies that are further rewarded for eliminating the, uh, these foes. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not on top of my game today, I'm a bit sick. <laughs> this document is a match play supplement for use in battle, uh, battles fought using the pitched battles battle pack. It will be updated over time in response to new releases and results from match play events. If a battle tome or battle tome update has more recent publication date than this document, units from that publication may not be designated as either priority targets or prime hunters. Priority targets. Now it gets interesting. The units listed in these tables below gain the priority target keyword, as well as a reward value. Each time an enemy priority target unit is destroyed, and it was not destroyed by a friendly priority target unit, you will immediately score a number of victory points equal to the reward value of that unit. If that destroyed priority target unit was reinforced, Score one additional victory point for each time the unit was reinforced. So let's just say Storm Drake Guard, pretty popular right now. You destroy a unit of Storm Drake Guard, you get plus one victory point. If you're destroying them with, let's just say, something ridiculous like a Hydra. <laughs> But if you're destroying a Storm Drake Guard with, let's just say, a Mega Boss on more Crusher, you get nothing else for that. You gain no additional victory point. Prime Hunters. Some factions, sub factions, and army types are listed as Prime Hunters. If you command the Prime Hunters army each time you score any victory points for a destroyed enemy, priority target unit, you score one additional victory point. Okay, this is more interesting because we have here basically exclusively battle tomes. We just accept the Oryk War Clan's Bone Splitters army type. They really need this buff, but what does this buff do? It's basically pretty simple. Whenever you are playing Sylvaneth and you're destroying a Storm Drake Guard again, for this example, you're not only gaining one victory point as a reward, but two. If you're playing Gloom Spite Gits and are destroying Storm Drake Guard, you're also are rewarded with two victory points. This does not include with the Auric War Clans. For example, if you are playing a big warg and one of your crew boys gut rippers kills a storm drake guard, you're only getting the one reward victory point. If something in your bone splitters faction destroys a unit of storm drake guard, again you have the two additional victory points. I really do enjoy this change. Sadly, I haven't been able to play for a while now. I'm I'm still too slow with building and painting. I'm so sorry we had so many plans. <laughs> but I'm really keen to see how this will pan out. And don't be fooled, just because these armies are prime hunters does not mean that they are not the battle tomes to come in the near future. Sylvaneth, in my mind, is still the battle tome for. Uh, is still the order battle tome after Daughters of Cain. Skaven and Hedonites of Slanesh, in my mind, is still one of the next battle tomes, uh, the next chaos battle tome after Nighthaunt. Not that Nighthaunt is dead, but 
you know what I mean, Nighthaunt and Daughters of Cain are being released as the next battle tomes. But yeah, what are your thoughts about the battle scroll? Do you like the changes? Do you think it's just salve on a wound that is festering and rather uh, and you rather chop off the arm before it <laughs> infects more of the body? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I am keen to know what you have to say. And while you're down there, do all the YouTube stuff because hitting buttons is fun. Have a great day, my friend. Stay fantastic. Stay hydrated. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.